Hi, I'm Alan with Blaze, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of Blaze and how to use it. We'll cover how to create a brand voice, walk you through the content creation process, go over the document editor, learn how to turn one document into a campaign of assets, and how to organize and export your content out of Blaze. Let's get started. We'll start by creating a brand voice, which is what you use to personalize the content you create in Blaze. You start by giving Blaze your website. So I've got a coffee company that I'm a fan of, and it will analyze this website to create a brand voice for me. So instead of using the basic internet-y voice that ChatGPT creates, all of the content you create in Blaze will be personalized based off the content that you give us. So I did a website, but you could also upload any sort of text or a PDF. And so you can see it analyzed all the text on this page for the audience, purpose, tone, and emotions to create a brand voice that I can use to personalize my content. And all the fields here are editable. So if I don't want to be something that has a salesperson, I can remove that. Now I can create that voice. And you can have multiple voices in your workspace. So you can choose whichever is the most relevant one. So now that our brand voice is created, let's create some content in Blaze. So from the homepage, you can create your content here. You can search for content. So we can search for email and see all the different email types of content that we can create. Or you can browse all the different wizards. You can search here as well and filter and see the different types of content like social media posts, ads, articles, emails, as well as other documents or content that will help you run your business. So let's get started with a blog post. And first I will name my blog post Coffee Roasting Techniques, and I'm going to create a project for this. We're gonna call this a uh, blog. So my document will save there, and I'm going to grab my description, and you can write here as, as much as you want but I'm gonna do this one on coffee roasting techniques to make great tasting coffee at home. It is going to be a informational blog post and the audience is going to be beginner coffee drinkers like myself. We'll keep the length medium and then we'll put in that keyword so that we can optimize this for SEO. Here you can see the brand voice is applied, but you could switch it to another one or create new ones here. So we'll start generating titles and Blaze will create five titles for me to choose and see which one I like the best. All of these are editable as well. So if you want to customize them, you can do that. I think this number three looks good. And so now it will generate an outline based off that title. So it has my title here, and then we'll give an introduction for my blog posts, as well as different headings. So I've got some H2s and H3s. And this all looks good, so I'm gonna start generating the content. And now you're in the Blaze document editor, and you can see the content start being generated right in front of you. Now let's look at the Blaze document editor. I'll show you all the different ways that you can edit your content, both manually and with the help of AI. So now that our content is generated, let's take a good look at it. I'm going to minimize the left sidebar and right sidebar here. And you can see that we've generated this entire blog post just for you in a matter of seconds. So the Blaze document editor is a real-time document ed editor similar to Google Docs where you can have multiple people editing it at the same time. And like a full functioning document editor, you can have all your multiple formatting op options here at the top with multiple headings, fonts, and sizes, and you can embed rich content in it. So you can embed YouTube videos, Giphy's, Figma files, tweets, and even stuff like Miro boards. You can also add cool things like callouts here, and we can add this kind of rainbow font, rainbow background on it as well as things like track changes. So we can turn track changes on and change things like this, where you can say, here's the new content and you can accept it or reject it. So now let me show you how you can edit this content with the help of AI. 
At the bottom here, you can ask Blaze to edit or generate anything on this document. So there's a couple quick options like changing the length, the tone, or improving it. But you can do something like ask it to write a summary of this blog post, and it will start doing that. And it will start kind of generating the content down here at the bottom. So you can see in just a matter of seconds, it added that. So similarly, you can select any text and have it just refine that specific type. So you could say, you know, reduce this to one, one sentence. And it will not edit it for you, but show you the option. And then once that it has done this, you can either add it below or replace that section. So it's super helpful. And if you'd like, you can have, you can copy it or have Blaze try again if you didn't like that result. So we'll replace that section. So now let me show you a few more options, what you can do. We can open up this right sidebar here. And similarly, you can improve the quality, edit the tone or change the length from the side over here, as well as do some of the options bef before you wanna publish your content. So you can run an SEO analysis. Let me grab my keyword coffee roasting techniques and it will analyze it and say, all right, here's where you can improve this content to make it the best, opti best optimized possible for search engines, as well as you can look at the readability and see, is this something that's easy for people to read or it's doing pretty good, lots of, lots of green here. Now, once you have a blog post written, you're going to want to prepare some marketing assets to promote it. And instead of spending a ton of time doing that manually, in Blaze, we can create a campaign to repurpose this blog post into other types of content, like social media posts, ads, emails, and a bunch more. Let me show you how. So to create a campaign, we'll go over here in the top right, click on this, and name my campaign. I'm gonna do it Coffee Roasting Techniques, and it will be in my blog project. We want to promote, promote this blog post, and the source material is going to be this document, and we're gonna use this brand voice that, are, that is already created. Now we get to pick our content types. So here we can choose Facebook posts, Instagram, let's do a Twitter post, a Twitter thread, maybe a YouTube script and things like a promotional email. That all looks good and generate a campaign. So now it's going to create a document for each one of those content types that I selected. And you can see them being created here in this blog database so that everything is organized together. And what's really cool about this database is I can also view it in a different layout. So I can view this as a calendar. So here I have my month of February and I can say, all right, I want to plan out when all this content is going to go out. So I can, all my content over here has been, is not scheduled. So I can drag and drop it onto each day and say, this is when, you know, I want all these different content to go and promote it. So you really are taking it from a blog post to all these different promotional assets into a marketing calendar to keep everything organized. So we can look, go into each piece of content and see that it is generating for Facebook. It has created several Facebook post ideas, as well as giving me some hashtag inspiration. And we can look into something like the Twitter thread and see it's giving me multiple options here. So it's not just giving you one final version, it's giving you a bunch of really great drafts that you can then choose from. Now we'll go into this tweet idea and it's giving me several tweets here. And when you're ready to get your content out of Blaze and into the channel or social network where you want it to be published, you do that by going over here to export. And you can export, we've got integrations directly with several platforms like WordPress for publishing your blog posts, as well as some social media ones, and Zapier, which has 3000 connections where you can connect it to other apps. So for example, I'll choose Twitter here 
and you can finalize your post. So obviously this gave us a bunch of ones. We're just gonna pick this very top one and get it into kind of the final version. And you can see a preview right here. And then all you would have to do is hit post and that would publish directly to, her, to your Twitter feed. We'll end it there. Thanks so much for watching. And make sure to watch some of our other videos on our YouTube channel for more in-depth tutorials on the different parts of Blaze.